Okay, we're back at the same spot again. Set up is starting Windows. So that should pop up again. And just to complete the test, I'm going to try the recovery console. Because that's the only other option. F3 is exiting from the Windows setup and there's nothing on the hard drive for me to... Okay, to set up a Windows XP, press Enter. To repair a Windows XP installation using Recovery Console, press R. So I'm going to press R this time. And what do you know, it's gone back to the start. Any ideas what this might be? I've recently added a hard drive, um, a second hard drive to the PC. That seemed to have been working all right. I've added a USB 3 and card reader box to the front and a card within the PC box to connect the USB 3. Um, and I've also put in two extra lines of um, RAM, two extra cards of RAM, so I've got an extra two gigs. Um, it was after this installation that all this crap started happening and it kept on getting reboot loops and stuff. Occasionally I'll get into the system to be able to enter the recovery uh, mode and there's various instructions on the net to uh, work with the um, system and other files by replacing them but they seem to have disappeared in all of this mess. Um, I've copied off all the important files off the hard drive on a different computer so um, I'm not too worried about it being empty now but I just need to know how I go about this. Thanks for your time.